What's going on guys, Cameron here, and today I'm going to talk about some Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights launched to uh, a lot of uh, bad press, okay, basically running 30 frames a second uh, and then having huge drops down into like the 15s and 20s at some points on the consoles, the consoles being locked at 30 frames a second, the PC having their own plethora of issues. So there was just all these problems around Gotham Knights with mostly related to performance and some of the things the way the game was built. It definitely gave people the idea that maybe Gotham Knights was not meant to be a third person action game. It was probably meant to be an MMO or a live service game to begin with and then they kind of changed course midway. I'm definitely feeling that. Okay, that, that would make a lot of sense. But the game is really good. It has some good moments. The story is really good. The activities are pretty good. Like the, the stuff to do in the city, it's pretty good. Okay, then the combat is lesser than Arkham Knight. It's more like a, it's like a, it's almost like Fable back in the day where you have like, you know, one button is your punch and then triangle can be your ranged weapon or like Y on the Xbox, of course. Y would be your ranged uh, attack. Uh, and then B, like on Fable, was like your special or something. And uh, like B up here, I think, or circle up here is like dodge. So anyways, it's very similar. Like you have your close attack, your light attacks, and your ranged attacks. And then you have like some special abilities you could do, like holding down R1 and pushing a different button on, on the, the pad. So the combat is different than Arkham Knights. I do feel like it's less than Arkham Knights, but you didn't really have some of these abilities in Arkham Knight. So it kind of... Arkham Knight's better, no doubt, no doubt Arkham games have better combat, okay, but this isn't necessarily bad. Just don't expect the Arkham combat in this game. But anyways, Gotham Knights dropped an update uh, just a few days ago. I was going to make a video, I didn't really have the time, so I'm a little behind on this. But they dropped an update and basically it's helped a lot. It's helped a lot with the frame rates being more, a little more stable. Uh, they uh, implemented dynamic resolution, which is a big thing that everybody was saying, why didn't you do that from the get go? Uh, that really helped a lot. These things help the game so much so that I am enjoying it a lot more, okay? Uh, it actually feels a little more responsive, I guess because that frame rate being a little more stable. So there's some of those fights that I'm getting in are a little easier. It still seems like there is something going on optimization-wise because there are still moments when you just get these hard drops, like hard drops into like the, the you know high teens or maybe the low 20s on the frame rate on console. I have played this on PS5 and the Series X. And it seems to be the same thing across both those consoles. There's just certain areas, like in the open world, where it just tanks the, the frame rate. And it doesn't make any sense. Uh, usually when you're in interiors and stuff, it's fine. Like, everything looks good. It's pretty solid frame rate. It's fun. So, I don't really know what's going on there. I do know that Digital Foundry did a video. And they basically were saying that the optimization is crap on Gotham Knights. Okay, that's basically what they said. Uh, you know, and they showed a video and like the the settings or the cores on the side showing what they were running at and it's just like gotham knights compared to other games uh it seems like the load is only like on maybe half of the cores when it should be like spread across all the cores inside that processor i don't really understand what ha what happened there <laughs> okay i'm not gonna sit here and say somebody needs to be fired i don't know if maybe they just couldn't get around to it maybe they were rushing to get the game done just to get it working so they didn't optimize very well Whatever it is, but you would look at other games that they were playing, like whether it was Far Cry 6 or whatever, and the cores would all the cores would be around 70 to 80 percent of usage or whatever. And with Gotham Knights, you'd have some that were like 70, 80, and then you'd have like a few that were like 20 or 30, like just not hardly doing anything. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but you can go check that video out for yourself. It definitely points to some optimization issues in development. Okay, so this game is easily a seven. To me, it's a 7 out of 10, but to me, it is like one of those 7s that you like a lot. Like, I really like Gotham Knights. I keep coming back to it nearly every night. Um, that and Modern Warfare 2 have been my things I've been bouncing around back and forth. I really enjoy the game. And, you know, even though I don't feel like it's it's amazing, I don't feel like it's up to par with the Arkham games, I'm still enjoying it. And uh, I know co-op would make that even better, and I haven't had a chance to play co-op yet. I wanted to get the patches that it needs. I want it to get that 60 frames per second mode because I don't think there's any excuse for it not to be running 60 frames a second. I think ray tracing needs to be, you have a toggle switch on and off, there needs to be a mode for that. I just don't, there's no reason why this game couldn't do 60 frames per second at 1440p, 1080, whatever. I want those things for this game because I, I really like the game and I would enjoy it more at a smoother frame rate. But anyways, that update did help 
if you're wondering, if you're still wondering about Gotham Knights, that update did help the game. It is much more solid, much more stable now, and it makes some of those boss fights a little easier when you have a, a stable frame rate. So, uh, if you're, you're looking at getting this game, people keep asking me the same question, is it worth the $70 that you're going to pay for it? Honestly, right now, I have to honestly say no, because you're missing all those graphic options, like performance mode and all that, and I, if it had that stuff, I'd say, yeah, buy it, man. It's a lot of fun, especially if you love the Gotham games or you love the Batman games, you're going to get some enjoyment out of this game. But right now, in the state that it's in, even though it's better than it was at launch, I still can't say it's worth $70. Like, this still seems like a, a $50 game to me, <laughs> you know? So, I don't know. Take that, do with that information, whatever you wish. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. I still like it. I still love it. The, the update helped. And I'm probably going to jump back into it right after this video. So, I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you again very soon. Maybe Wednesday when I stream. Later, guys. Peace.